What's up everybody? Well, we out here somewhere on the North Shore in Louisiana and I'm with my buddy Alex the Garfish King. I'm about six foot and y'all can just see how big he is. He's 6'4". He's way bigger than me. He look like he can palm my head and just smash me in the ground. And that's Robert. They're out here catching big old alligator gar. So y'all seen that in the preview and now here it goes. This is how he caught it. Oh yeah. He's running good. Got 10 in my head I'm going to do it. That's a big one. around something. Yeah. I was going to reel him a, a, a log. <laughs> That's an alligator. Oh, it's a huge, whatever it is, dude. That's all I'm saying. I got to help Bubba. Oh, yeah. came up. oh no. No, no, no. no. He should oh, be. He's going towards you. That's what he did. No, yeah. he wrapped me on a log and came off, kept the log. Whatever I'm reeling him, whatever it is. He's going to grab. No, it's still swimming like this, right? It's still okay. It's swimming far away, it's probably where it is. <laughs> what pound test you got on there? It's like I'm reeling really at a log, so. They ain't pulling back. Oh, he's pulling. Yep. Big Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tyan. For real, get 20 pounds. Bro, get the gas ready. That's why I was looking for the big, big fish. That's right. <laughs> what pound test you got on there? 20 pound. Huh? 20 pound braid. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I think you're screwed, bro. He's holding in that grass. You can't get him out. You better walk in that water and go get him. Yeah, that gate open. <laughs> gate ain't gonna do you nothing. He's big, so Did I you... can't even move him. Yeah, dude. Look at that tail. That tail was like this, dude. That fan was like that. There it is. Yeah. I'd let him go out and try to get him around the grass. Possibly. He just went out. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. He just went out. You better go walk out there and go get him. I don't know how deep that water is. It might sink right there. There you go. He's out of the grass now. Oh, no. I was back in more grass. He moved. I can't, he won't run out. I try, I try to let him run out. He won't move. He's there. He's there already. He's, he's there. It's just the longer you keep him in the water, the more chance you're going to have to get off. And that is that big that trouble you get. Oh. I think he's tangled up in it. The gas right away. You up. might have one thing. Put the pallet right yeah, there. Yeah, the pallet. Put the pallet right there in front of you and just step out there. And Nope. Oh, I really ran my mouth there. That's some slop water. Don't hold my line. Watch out, Charlie. Watch out, Charlie. Back up. That's how I see the bubble. Dude, that's huge. That's not that big. Watch out, Charlie. <laughs> nice, man. There you go. It's a nice car. About four foot. Could be old Din Din, huh? I got scale. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's good. Got the boga grips on there. Let's give y'all a little heads up about garfish. Uh, they actually are pretty good to eat. I've actually had one before and it tastes pretty much just like a crab cake to me. That's what it tastes like. Uh, Alex, they're going to put out a video about how to clean it and whatnot. So y'all going to make sure to check that out. And uh, that's why he pretty much gaffed it and everything. He's going to take it and he's going to go home and eat it. They're actually pretty good. They stink when they when you first catch them and everything. But after that, you know, when you clean, you boil down the meat and everything. You put it into like a, it's like a, it's like a specialty dish out here in, in South Louisiana. They call it a gar balls. Pretty damn good. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was kind of apprehensive to eat it the first time I ate it, and it's it's delicious. So. He caught the first one on a mullet head, and now he's using the mullet belly. And uh, it's a pretty nice size gar. It's not the biggest gar in the world, but definitely a nice one. Fishing with a steel cable down to a big treble hook, and that's how he's getting them. Oh, another one, though. 85 pound of braid on here. Run, baby. Uh oh, there you go. So, what he's doing, he's letting them run, letting it try to get down in his stomach a little bit or down deeper in his mouth. What guards like to do is pretty much just mouth the bait, mouth the bait, mouth the bait. God, look at him tear, tearing off one. When I get the yellow, I'm hooking it. That's too far. He's running with that thing hard. Why they come off? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh man. He's a big one. He's stuck in the grass right now. Playing the violin. He's right down on that guy. There you go. Now nah, you have to get into the stuff. He just pulls his line in the back of the way. He's like, I don't need my leg. I don't think so. He's not moving at all. Just keep pulling. Oh, 
No, no. They tend to give up. Like once you get close like that. Watch out, Charlie. Go. Back up. This thing? Oh, yeah. It's not like a little... <laughs> the golf fish king. There you go. 16-12. Alice is going to let this one go. Because he's already caught one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, and uh, check out Serious Outdoors underscore Louisiana. I'll put the link in the description, so y'all go check them out. Make sure you go sub to them. That's Alex and Robert's channel. So y'all make sure y'all go check them out. They do a lot of, like, stuff around Lake Pontchartrain, whether it be trout, crabbing, shrimping, uh, big drum, uh, alligator gar, stuff like that. So if y'all into that, make sure y'all go check them out. All right.